Hi guys, welcome back to runout.tv. It's Mal here. It's Monday evening and it's time for a little bit of nine ball. So we're playing Ringo and it's a race to eight. I've really not played too well in the career mode at the moment. Good job that black's there. Ah, um, just not playing that well really. I'm going to go for this one. Okay, it's gone horribly wrong. I got lucky, yes. So, yep, decent day at work today. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, ready to rock tonight. So, just have a quick VP4. Get the video up. Keep you guys happy. Got to keep my pain public happy. Well, the public anyway. Um, now, never heard a thing about the testing. I'm not a tester at the minute. Don't know why. They've changed the... The way it works. Oh, what a bad shot that is. Hmm. I'm going to get around this one then. So I'll probably just try and get behind this green. But oh no, that might be good. Oh, I think I've nailed it as well. Great shot. Um. Yeah, I'm not currently a tester, which is weird. So I've got half a shot here, but I guess I did a good job on the on the five. So just try and pop this in. Oh, give over, man, referee. I'm telling you, I'm playing really bad at the minute, guys. I don't know what it is. Maybe I've just sort of chilled out on the intensity a little bit. I've resigned from the GB9 committee. Um, just wasn't good enough, guys, to play real life pro. I mean, I know you might have seen a few of my videos. And I've left a few of them there. I've took off the ones that relate to the blog because, you know, the blog's dead. In terms of the, the pros, because I'm just not going to be putting the money in or the time into doing that anymore. But I found myself... Oh, now Ringo's trying to do his best to give me a chance here. Right, come on, let's get these cleared up. They're not that hard. Right, uh, oh, that's going to go straight in off. I don't... See, I'm just not playing very well. Can I cut this in? I might just have gone far enough to cut this in, so... Oh my god. Well, I got the benefit of a decent stroke of luck there. This is called a, a scrappy run out. That'll do us. Right. Oh, nearly got the nine. No friends. No friends. Uh, right, there's a four nines on, obviously. And there we have the four nine coming up. Great shot on the three. There it goes. Ringo wins two one. Shot on the one ball. No such uh, combination shot in this rack, so we will play up and down. So getting on the five is a little bit tricky. It's just got to, I think, roll natural angle just to leave it at the top corner, like that. With nothing to worry about in terms of the six. And then probably just to come around the angles. Don't go behind that nine ball. Oof, dear, that was <laughs> could have been bad, but it was all right. So I've managed to um, negotiate the main pitfalls of this rack. Now we're just mopping up. Well, for a two-two. So after four racks, we're all level. Got a couple of balls in off the break. 
nine ball uncharacteristically right up the table. So no, I didn't really know what was going to happen there, but it's come off okay. Just wanted to play a little stop shot on the th the purple here. Probably just draw back just a touch, and then a two cushion bit of screw back. Well, I've actually done that wrong, but I might even knock the nine in here. Well, I haven't, but it should be okay. Just roll this in. Can I just roll it in? Hmm. Just had to pinch the pocket just a bit to hold on to that uh, seven ball. Now just got to mind the in off, and so that's worked out okay. Problems negotiated. Three two. Oh, and the white goes on off, so another chance to extend the lead. Um, got a little bit of a problem here that the line that we'd like to take the five is is exactly where the where the nine ball is. So it's going to try and glide past it, which I've done very well. And I'm going to use a little bit of side spin to just slide down the table. I oh, know I didn't mean that. So that's gone very wrong. Uh, it's going to try and snooker him now. Jump shot's on, but it's going to be it's a hard shot. Phew! He actually got the ball in, which is a really good effort. And I've way over hit that again. Just need to think about what I'm doing here. I'm not really playing as well as I normally do. Again, I'm still in the lead by 4-2, but it's more about, I think, what Ringo hasn't done than what I have done. Oh dear, look at the ugly board. Well, that's worked out well because now I can kick the two in. Now, these could block, but I'm hoping they don't. No, they haven't, so it's opened up a little bit. That's exactly what I wanted. I was lucky the three was here to um, leave myself a chance. So now we just need to... This is a critical shot of the frame. Um, probably just reverse back... And that's going to be okay. Now this one is just a, a simple case of coming off the bottom cushion. Any shot's decent here. And then just a, a stun shot for the nine at the bottom corner. Is that even a foul? Jesus. Very rare you see that happen. So we're getting a chance now to go 6-2 up after the first eight, which is a, definitely a, a big win. Now we do have a choice to make here. What would you guys do? Would you take the 6-9 combo or would you take the run out? I bet you take the, the combo, but you probably get it. 
Bob Miss. Bit fortunate. I'm going for the, the double plant here. So it's a thing that that's definitely a rack I should have won. Five three when should have been six two. Right, let's go. Let's make up for that miserable effort. Nice shot, that's exactly what I had planned. So, chances in this rack to get things back on track quickly. Don't want to leave myself straight on this uh, eight. Six three, should be seven two, but you should never let yourself get too wound up about stuff like that in a match. Once it's gone, try and let it go. Nice break and run, 17. Nothing down, so he gets a shot, 7-3. Good safety there by the computer. Poor attempt to get out of that snooker, but it was a difficult one. Now that's going to be behind the nine. But it's popped out the very back, so possibly a safety coming up. And again, a very nice safety, but if we hit this hard, you never know what might happen. We might get lucky. Well, we've left him a tough, a tough six, but a makeable six. Goes a nine at the top corner, seven four. Oh, and we get the, the and we come out for the two, so And with that two going down, we have a very good chance of closing this match out. A couple of decent shots at the beginning of the rack, not least that double. Just gave us the, the edge. Now that wasn't the best. Just managed to avoid hitting that seven ball, uh, eight ball, sorry, on the way through. So that's another semi-break in, uh, in this rack that's going to give us the 
probably the win so we'll just scoot down here and the final nine of this match there she goes so we win 8-4 and um, we further progressed in the tournament. As you can see, I lost to Matt Crow 11 7. I was just really wasn't in that at all. Uh, beat Big T 8 1, uh, Ringo 8 4, and now play the Godfather of Death. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the very next runout.tv video. Please subscribe, and if you like the video, give it a like.